God is good. My life is not my own. Hallelujah. We, uh, this morning we want to talk about the heart. The Bible says that uh, the heart of man is wicked. Yes, it is. And what else? Above, above all. Man has a heart and God has a heart. Yes. God's heart is not like our heart. Amen. No. Thank you, God. <laughs> and occasionally in the scripture, God will pour out his heart to let us see that he does have a heart. Yes. The woman who was caught in the midst of adultery. Mm-hmm. Everybody knew the law. The law said that she should be stoned. Yeah. Amen. But God's heart was that he bent down and wrote in the sand. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's and then right. he got back up. Uh-huh. And he said to everybody, uh-huh. ye would all sin. Yeah, 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 right, that's right. Right. He had the right to kill her. Yep. Because in the Old Testament, mm-hmm. if you committed adultery with another person, mm-hmm. both people yep. would be stoned. Yes. yes. How many of us in this room right now? <laughs> Would be ducking rocks. <laughs> but God's heart said, no. Mm-hmm. See, God's heart said, I'm going to give you another chance. That's right. That's right. Thank you, God. And another chance, and another chance, and another chance, and another chance, and another chance. And another chance. Yes, sir. His heart is not like me. Because I believe that, well, I'm different now. Amen. So I think. Okay. I probably would have said, no, I'm done. You can't do me like that. Yeah. And I'm not going to stand for it. Mm-hmm. But isn't it amazing that God's. Allows us to get away with stuff. Yeah. Uh, and last week, when 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 God's heart was poured out for King David, a man after God's own heart. Yeah. How the God saw that David committed uh-huh. adultery, uh-huh. which is death. <laughs> And then he killed her husband to cover up the fact that he had yeah. slept with her. Yeah, right, right. And God was in his right to kill him. <laughs> but God says, well, he says, if David, if, if, if everything that I've ever blessed you with wasn't enough, right. I'd have given you more right. and more right. and more. Right. All you had to do, David, was just come to me and ask yeah. me. That's right. That's right. Some of us out here are trying to do things on our own, and all you got to do is well, want yeah. to ask God. Yeah. I didn't tell it to you. Because right. yeah. if I wanted, I just asked you. That's That's right. Right. Come on, man. All right. And you don't need to be jealous of me. That's right. God's love is <laughs> just mind boggling. The story goes about this man who who heard this woman, this young girl cry out to him. She was in sin and and she was struggling and she had no way out and she cried out to this, this man and the man heard her and he, and he delivered her and he got her out of sin and, but he fell in love with her and he, and he took her and he, and he married her and once he married her, he, he, he was so happy that with her and that he loved her and he just cherished her. And, but it, as time went on, she she somehow strayed away. Uh-huh. You know how it is when you love God and you come to church all the time and then every once in a while you stray away? Don't be gone too long, y'all. Yeah. Right, yeah. All right. All right. She strayed away and, and she began to have a relationship with other people. I don't know about y'all. Is there anybody in here who's ever been hurt in a relationship? Amen. 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 
Yeah. Come on, y'all. I need, I need y'all. Speak up. Because if you've ever been in love and you've given your heart to somebody yeah. and you've done everything that you possibly can do to do, yeah. and, 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 and the person rejects your love and you, and you ask yourself, well, what, 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 what did I do wrong? Amen. I gave you all of my love. That's right. And if I'm slipping or missing this song, all you have to do is tell me because I would have just corrected that immediately. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. What is it that I don't have that somebody else has? Mm. And ain't nobody going to love you. She kept cheating on him and cheating on him and cheating on him and cheating on him and cheating on him. <laughs> he came home one day and she wasn't there. And, he, and usually she's there and he got worried about her. And, but he said, well, you know, maybe she's just around the corner. Maybe she's just going to the store. She'll be back in a little bit. Well, the next day came on and she was still wasn't back. You know, the first day you, you're scared, you're afraid, you're, right, right. you're worried. Yeah. And then by the second day, you're like, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. You start calling people, calling their loved ones, and trying to figure out where, she, where this person is at. And nobody knows where she's at. And then eventually you figure out that she's gone. And she ain't coming back. See, at that point, most of us say, well, that's it, I'm done with her. Right. Yeah. But God's heart is, the door is always open. Amen. The door is always open with God. Yes. Yes. No, He knows where we have been. Right. And what we have done. Yes. His heart isn't the kind of like, well, you know, you you, you got high, you did drugs, you uh-huh. you're, you're slutting with these people, uh-huh. you did all this, you, and I'm, I'm I, I don't I'm not putting up with that. I'm a holy God and. And I'm not going to put up with that. He doesn't like close the door and say, boom, uh-huh. I'm throwing you in hell. Uh-huh. What he does is he says, tell you what, uh-huh. come back home. That's all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. You come back home and we'll figure this whole thing out. That's right. That's right. Come back home. Particle stuff. What he says is, if you just admit, you'll see. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And repent yeah, and turn around. That's yes. right. That's I've right. got all the rest. Come on, brother. <laughs> like that woman. It's, all she had to do was what? Come back, on. Come back I'm, look, look, honey, I got called up. Yep. 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 But I'm done. Yep. Can I come up? Can I come back home? Yeah. Most of y'all say no. You've been with somebody else? <laughs> 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 no, no, I don't want you no more. Right. <laughs> I don't know where you've been. That's right. Go back where you was at. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you leave him? <laughs> but God is the kind that says, Come on back home. Come back. Amen. And He doesn't do it once, He does it over yes. and over and over. So, so in Jeremiah chapter 3, we see God's heart because God is married to Israel yes. and Judah. But they, but they, what they've done is they played the part of the harlot. Yes. Mm. And to God, that is that they have served and worshiped other gods. Yes. Right. Jeremiah chapter 3. This will just look at the heart of God. Jeremiah chapter 3. Yes. Jeremiah, it's in the Old Testament. I think. But I will tell you that Psalm says that all the paths of the Lord are mercy yes. and truth. In other words, when you come back to God, that road that brings you back to God is full of mercy and truth. Yes. And to such as keep his covenant and his testimony. Jeremiah chapter 3. Verse 3. Jeremiah chapter 3. By show of hands, who would take who would take her back? Yeah, nobody. <laughs> Benjamin? Did I get one? No, you take her back. <laughs> <laughs> what if God was like that to us? Wow, wow. Man. Man. Oh, man. Yeah. Mm. Let's let's just look at God's heart. The kind of heart that he had. So much different than our hearts. 
it, it begins in Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 1. He's, they say, if a man put away his wife, in other words, divorce her, and she go from him and become another man, shall he return to her again? In other words, if, if you divorce her, do you go back to her again? No. Leviticus said, no, shall not the land be greatly polluted? But God says, but thou hast played the harlot with many lovers. Yet return again to me, said the Lord. In other words, the Lord says, the law says that you are not to return, but I'm going to let you return. Because my heart is greater than the law. Then he says in verse 2, he says, lift up thy eyes to high places and see where thou hast not lied with. In other words, God says, I've watched you and you've been with everybody. Yeah. And every in all the ways thou has set for them, as in Arabian, in the wilderness, thou has polluted the land with their whoredom and with thy wickedness. God says, My judgment says in verse 3, therefore the showers have been withhold. And there have been no later rain, and thou hast a horse forehead. Thou refusest to be ashamed. In other words, God says. When you ever you get to the point where you sin so much oh. that you don't even become ashamed anymore. Oh. All after all this, God, all God says, and maybe He's talking to you, just return, yeah. just come home. God says in Jeremiah three thirteen, He says, "This is how we can make things straight between me and you." Jeremiah 3.13 He says you want, to, you want to straighten things out between me and you? He says only acknowledge thy guilt. All you have to do is tell me that you sin. See when you get to the point where you don't even think that you're sinning mm -hmm. see what people will say is they don't say I'm sinning they'll say I made a mistake. My bad. I slept with three women last weekend. Made a mistake. It was just a mistake. No. It was a sin. And the wages of sin. Y'all know why y'all still do it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know the scripture. The ways of sin is, but you still do it. <laughs> Jeremiah three thirteen says, "Only acknowledge thy iniquity." In other words, just tell him that we sin. And he says that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God. In other words, whenever we sin, we sin against God. That's right. If, if, if I right now take a rock and hit Chris in the head, I, I have done him damage, but with my sin, my problem is, I can probably outrun Chris. The problem I have is with whom? God. Who's the holy God? And you can't outrun God? And you can't outbox God? So when you sin, the problem is in heaven, not on earth. Right. And you got to get it right in heaven. That's yes. right. Yes. As well as on earth. Yes. That's right. Yes. The, Bible, the Bible says that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God, and, and thou hast scattered their ways to the strangers under every tree. Yeah. Wow. And ye have not obeyed my voice, said the Lord. God says, if you want to get this straight between me and you right now, he says, first you got to acknowledge. Secondly, you got to understand that you trans transgress against the Lord. Yeah. Right. And understand, the Bible says that, you, that they have scattered their ways to the strangers. In other words, God says, I've seen and know everything that you've ever done. In fact, not only have I seen and watched you, everything you've done, but I also have read your mind. All right. Whoa. I, I also know the thoughts and intents of the heart. Yeah, that's, right, that's right. And the Bible says, not only that, you have not obeyed my voice. Right. My question is, did we sin this week? 
I, 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 I like what he said. You can't help but sin. And I understand that. But 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 when you came into this church, were you thinking about your sin and how you need to get it right with God, or did you just come in and saying, "I just want to hear the musicians play today"? <clears throat> I hear that they serve breakfast over at New Faith Ministries, and I'm gonna go get me something to eat. Did, did you come to get right with God when you came to church, or did you just come to church? Do you think that all last week you just made a couple of mistakes? Or did you understand that you sinned against the Holy God? Who has a heart for us. Who loves us. Who cherishes us. He puts us in a special place. Israel did all of that to God. And God has a heart. And I wonder how he feels. How would you feel if somebody treated you the way you treat God? Oh, I know. I didn't come to church to hear this, Pastor. I, was, I, I came in happy and I was hoping to skip out of this place. But now I'm going to be thinking all day long. Like, well done. Amen. You want to feel good about yourself? And you'll see? This is the wrong church for you. Amen. Here's God's heart. Jeremiah 3 14. Look at what he says. After all they've done, he said, Turn, O backsliding children. He says, Turn. Anybody know what a backslider is? Yes, sir. Who, who's the backslider? Where's the backslider? Oh, 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 yes, sir. <laughs> it says, Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord. For I am married unto you. Look at his heart. He says, I will take one of a city. In other words, God says, I'll make this person. I'll take one at a time. Mm-hmm. And two of a family. And I will bring you to Zion. Uh-huh. Zion is, is is the city of holiness, the city of refuge, uh-huh. the city where you can live and serve God. Zion is a is a city where the Lord protects His people from the world. God says, "Come home to Zion." He says, "I'll bring you home." Wow. He says in verse fifteen, he says, "If you just turn," he says, "and I will give you pastor." According to my heart, yes, Lord. Amen. Which shall feed you with knowledge. Yes, I understand. I understand. You, you turn around, and come back. Thank you. I'm gonna make sure that you get it this time. Just turn around oh, and come back home. Yes. You know. Um, When you look over your life and you realize that if it wasn't for his grace, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if it wasn't for his mercy, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm for real, because I know most of y'all. Yeah. 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 Most of y'all come from. Yeah. 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 Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. God didn't give up on you. Thank you. Thank you. You already did. He didn't give up on you. Still mad. He was persistent. Still. He kept chasing you. Yes. He ran you down. Yes. He wore you out. Yes. And then when you couldn't take another step, he put his arms around you and said, Come on back. You ain't got to live like this. There's a place called Zion. A city of refuge. I got a place for you. I love you. Just turn around. I'll change your heart. I'll put pastors in position who will 
preach to you words that will change your heart. Amen. A lot of you in here have come here with hard hearts and now you're soft yeah. and tender. <laughs> you ain't even hard no more. <laughs> Some of you came to church and you were scary. You don't look scary no more. Right. Break it down, man. Break it down. <laughs> You don't even fit out there anymore. Amen. Amen. Don't go on. No, sir. Welcome home. Peter, when he talks, he says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all. To come to repentance. James will say it like this. Draw near to God. And he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners. And purify your hearts. You double minded. No one said make up your mind. John will say it like this. If we confess our sin. He is faithful. And just. To forgive us our sins. And to cleanse us from. The author of Revelation says, as many as I love, I rebuke and chase. Yes. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Yes. There's somebody out there that God is saying, come back home. Yes. Come back. Amen. In fact, yes. don't worry about where you've been. Yes. Uh, worry about where you're going. You turn around, I'll do the rest. And I'm going to tell you, he is faithful and true. You turn around, he will change you. He will change your heart, your mind, your soul. You will walk, you'll be at home and you'll be hearing music in your head. God. I don't know who I was talking to. But if but if you want to make things right with God, come on up. Now's your opportunity. If you're comfortable where you're at, stay close to Have you ever been loved so much that someone will forgive you for anything? Your love is greater than your wrath. 
I've heard that the only thing that you want from me is to confess my sins. So that we can get this thing right between me and you. My desire is to get things right. My desire is to to correct your heart. Is there anybody else who wants to come up here? Anybody, anybody, anybody. Brother Robert, will you pray? your glory to be shown upon this wicked world, Father God. We want our family saved. We want our relationships healed. We want our sins forgiven, Father God. You know, we come to you even now in this circle, Father God, say in our heart with sincerity that, Father, forgive us. Forgive us of our sins. Forgive us for our wickedness, Father God. For we are weak. We are weak. In all the days of our life, we we transgress against you. But yet and still, your arms are open. You're waiting for us to humble ourselves, to cry out, to learn our lesson, and to come hold your hand and follow you. Father God, we thank you for your joy, your everlasting peace that you imparted to us, Father God. In those fleeting moments, when we are in right standing with you, Father, we feel it. We are at peace. Give us a a thirst, a desire, Father God, that you may saturate us, Father God, with your love and fill our cups, that we may pour out into this world, into our family, Father God, that we may bring glory unto you, Father God. So collectively, Father God, we come to you in our unrighteous ways, Father God, and ask you to pour out your love and your forgiveness upon us, Father God, to look down from your heavenly throne and to cleanse us, Father God. But we, some of us, don't even know what we're doing, Father God, but we just feel your heart pulling us. So just help us, Father God to be meek and humble, Father God, to be the people that you called us to be, peculiar, Father God, full with your glory, Father God, eyes yes. set on fire, Father God, ready yes. to lay hands, to snatch those that need to be snatched out of the fire, yes. Yes. or to pray on you with sweet and loving words, Father God. So, Father God, we thank you for your love and allowing us to even be alive this day, Father God, because if all of us deserve death, but because of the blood of your precious Son, we are worthy to open for life, Father God, and to be at your throne with you, Father God, to sit at your feet one day, Father God. So send forth healing, Father God. Release your joy, Father God. Release family, Father God. Authority, Father God. Structure, Father God. Peace, strength, Father God. Build us up, Father God. Continue to carry us, Father God, in the direction that you want this church and each individual member to go, Father God. Watch your spirit upon us, Father God. And we submit to you this day, Father God. We are just your children. And you are our King of kings, our Lord of lords, Father God. So we raise up our voices and bless you. And we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.
can we all raise our right hand? Yes, sir. Now may the Lord watch between me and thee. Yes, Lord, watch between me and thee. Oh, we are absent one from another. Oh, we are absent one from another. And may the church say, God bless everyone.